Ach. What a moment for the media. No? Good moment for the media. Alright, Roger's run us to kick us off, thanks. Yeah. Hello again. Um, first of all, we get team news, and specifically um, Jack Wilshire, we understand he's got an ankle injury. What's the nature of the injury, and will he be fit for this weekend? Well, the team news, without any specialty, uh, are that uh, Javier Hernandez is sick. He has a virus for around 10 days. He's at home. He couldn't work the, in the whole week. And Jack uh, felt uh, pain in his ankle two days ago. We'll see uh, in the next day what is the right, what is the reason. Does he have a chance of playing there? No, no, he doesn't have a chance. You don't think he has a chance? No. How long do you think you might be out? On Tuesday we will see. After he has a medical review, we will know what uh, what happened. You've seen um, reports that we've read reports that you're angry about the team news being leaked before perhaps you've even told your players. Um, first of all, are you angry at this? this no. Leak? <laughs> first of all, the news is not uh, it's not true because like, I'm not angry about that. Are you aware of the teams being leaked in advance, though? Not aware, because uh, normally in every team that I managed before, the day before the game, I work with set pieces. So all the players know the day before who will play, who will not play. So many players can talk with other players. I'm not keeping the start to 11 till three or four hours before the game. I will work every day, so there's a lot of reasons or different ways why uh, some people can know the team before we do it. Do you, know, do you have any idea who might be the person tweeting out the team beforehand? Or would you rather it wasn't? Happening? I don't have any idea. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about trying to win the three points. Can it have an effect? I mean, does, it, does it matter to you if, if um, the opposition manager knows in advance? I don't think that is the most important thing. Maybe... If you're going to play against uh, Chelsea, against Watford, against uh, Liverpool, you are sure that they will be the same Saturday 11 that the last game, no? and they play exactly in the same way. So it's not. I don't. We are, we are not. I, I don't hide too much about the, about the, the start 11. During the um, international break, um, Karen Brady came out publicly backed you as the person to turn things around after the start to the season that, that you've had. Um, did you welcome that reassurance, or is it a concern that after just four games, the board feel the need to actually come out and say that they still trust in you? No, because I know the way they, they think, the owners or Karen, uh, I spoke with all of them before I, I, we start this project here at West Ham. Uh, of course, it's always uh, important that you know that they are supporting you. It's, maybe it's not normal to, or nobody expected to lose. The, the four first game, but that will not change, at least my mind. So it's the owners and the, and Karen con, uh, continue thinking the same way. That's always a very good news. You had this international break. I don't know if you went home to, to Chile for, for a bit. Would it have been an, an idea to have perhaps had the players in for a bit longer, get, get, get them working on the training, which I know they had some time <coughs> as well? I had to go to Chile for three or four days for a personal issue. It's not, in, it's not important. We have a program of the whole or uh, an annual schedule completely because one of the most things in the Premier League is to have a good program. Right? If you think that you must work uh, or you do a program, just depend if you, will, you are going to win or you are going to lose. I don't think that's a real program. One of the most important the Premier League is to arrive in December with uh, the fresh team. Uh, so we are having a lot of rest, in the, especially in the international break. We work also very hard during the rest of the week. We prepare <coughs> last week, we work for a day. This week we work from Tuesday till Sunday. So I think that that program I will not change it because you win or you lose. Did it come at a good time in terms of had the four disappointing results. Was it good to have that, perhaps that time away and they come back and, and start afresh? 
you never know if, uh, if it's a good moment or it's not a good moment. Maybe when you lose a game, you want to play immediately. Uh, uh, stay 15 days with that bitter uh, feeling is, is not good, but if you don't win, you must you must do it. But we, in the way we work, is exactly it's exactly the same. We review the game, we try to arrange the different problems, and that's what we did this, the complete week. And just by, finally, from the um, we talked before about the board giving reassurances. Do you remain confident that um, after a disappointing start, that things will start to come together and that your personal turn, turn things around? I don't think that because you lose four against you must not be confidence uh, uh, in the opposite side. And in this moment, I trust more than ever what I do uh, because it's not the first time that I'm doing this uh, the same work. Uh, it's not the first time that in my career we have some bad results. All the clubs have bad results in one moment of the season. It's not good to start with so bad results, but but we are absolutely confident that we are going to reverse it. Mike. Um, if West Ham do lose on Sunday, it will be the first time in their history that they have lost the first five games uh, of the season. Uh, how worried are you? Is this in your thoughts that making the wrong sort of no. history? I'm not worried about the statistics. I'm worried uh, to try to find a team to win, uh, to play well and to win the, the game. <laughs> and are you in a strange way boosted by the Everton team news that they have up to nine first team players out injured that could help West Ham we don't know what happened with Everton. We'll see how many players have finally will play or they will not play. The thing that we that can help West Ham is to play well, That's to lose, not to lose so many balls, to have a high pace during the whole game, to new, to know the player between them because we have a lot of new players, to try to adapt our mentality to play in a different way. There's a lot of things that help more to West Ham than thinking about the injuries that they have the other team. How close is one of your summer signings, Andre uh, Yarmolenko, to starting again for your team? Well, I think that Andre needs uh, time to to know the Premier League. It's a Premier League with a high pace, especially he plays as a winger because all full backs go always in attacking. He's improving a lot. Uh, we'll see when he will be able to start the game. Emma? Hello. Um, I wonder, how much more difficult is this job than what you thought it was going to be? Is it tougher being a West Ham manager than you thought it might be? No, no. I think that this uh, job is always tough. In every club that I manage in my career, you have different issues that you must resolve. The moments are changing during the season. Maybe when you want to do so many changes, it's more difficult. But I think that West Ham... It's in uh, the correct, uh, in the correct way. Starting for the owners that want to grow with this club. That's why they brought so many players. That we are arranging rush green. That we are improving to grow a step. Uh, have, having a new and a big stadium. That for me also was a step to grow as a club. So I think that you have always different problems in different clubs. After the Everton match, your next two league matches will be against Chelsea and Manchester United. So a very difficult period, but how crucial is it that you get something out of those matches? Uh, we are just thinking about uh, Everton. Uh, when we finish Everton, we are going to think what, what we must do against, against Chelsea. As soon as we add points, it's always important because the, the pressure will be exactly the same for me, uh, winning or not winning. For me, the pressure is, my own pressure is the same. It's to improve as a team, it's to improve as a club, to play well. But uh, of course, if you don't add points, uh, maybe the external pressure uh, will be high. Thank you, cameras off.